This is John Compton from Avenue18.com. We're going to talk quickly about a few clever keyboard commands that you can use to make Windows more effective for you. I'm always surprised when I go out to work with clients in the field how few of them are utilizing everyday common Windows keyboard shortcuts. One of the most important ones is Alt-Tab. By pressing and holding the Alt key down with your thumb and then tapping the Tab key, you can move from the current currently open application to the next application. This becomes really critical if you've opened a large number of windows and you're trying to get back to a window you were at uh, 10 minutes ago. By pressing the Alt-Tab key, you're given a list of your currently active programs. You can simply highlight the program you want to go to and then release the key and there you are. Windows 7 users can also press the Windows key down and the Tab key to get the classic 3D look, something we can't show on this XP machine. Another critical key to remember is Control Escape. Control Escape activates the Start Bar. This is also something you can activate using your Windows button. But it's important to remember that Control Escape is the classic way to activate your menu listing, so you can go to various programs, etc. When you're done with the window, you can press Alt F4. Alt F4 will either shut down or restart your computer, or if you're on a particular window, give you the option of shutting down that window itself. Simply highlight the window you want to shut down and press Alt F4. When you're browsing the web, you also want to know that the Alt left and right arrow keys will take you to and fro various web pages. Sometimes you can't find the arrow key on your web page. Just use Alt left arrow and Alt right arrow to move forward and back through your web page. For a complete listing, visit my website at avenue18.com and go to support. I'm John Compton from avenue18.com and thank you for listening. Please check out our additional links.